You may have heard a lot about mRNA vaccines recently. These are a new type of vaccine that have been developed for COVID-19. You may wonder, how do these mRNA vaccines work? When an mRNA vaccine is injected into a person's arm, tiny lipid vesicles containing the mRNA molecules travel through the body's fluids and merge with a special type of immune cells called antigen-presenting cells, or APCs. Inside these cells, the mRNA molecule bounces around until it meets a ribosome, a protein-making machine found in the cytoplasm of our cells. The ribosome produces a foreign protein, known as an antigen, which is based on the mRNA sequence. This antigenic protein is what will ultimately stimulate the immune system. In the case of a COVID-19 vaccine, it will be the coronavirus spike protein, the spike protein antigen is presented to the immune system in one of two ways. In the first pathway, it is broken into fragments, which are bound to another protein called MHC1. The complex is transported to the surface of the cell, where it is recognized by a cytotoxic T cell. This enables cell-mediated immunity against future infections. In the second pathway, the spike protein or its fragments are transported to the surface of the cell where it is released and is taken up by other antigen-presenting cells and degraded into fragments, which form a complex with an MHC2 protein. This complex is transported to the cell surface where it is recognized by helper T cells that help B cells make antigen-specific antibodies to neutralize the virus in any future infections. This pathway is called the antibody-mediated immune process. One of the advantages of the mRNA vaccines is that they stimulate both types of immunity, cell-mediated immunity and antibody-mediated immunity. Also, no viral particle is present during this process which makes mRNA vaccines considerably safer than conventional attenuated or killed vaccines. For more information about how CAS data scientists are approaching COVID-19 and for resources to fuel your research, visit cas.org slash COVID-19.